certain characters in movies that are either directly or indirectly responsible for something bad happening, but they actually have good intentions. So one pretty big example of this is John Hammond from the original Jurassic Park movie. In the book, John Hammond is a less likable, more morally gray character. Uh, we're not as sympathetic to, but in the original movie along with Jurassic Park 2, you get the sense that, yes, John Hammond is naive and misguided, but he is well-intentioned. You don't get the sense that his motivations are nefarious, you don't feel like he's greedy or corrupt, or he wants any of this to go bad. No, you feel like he built Jurassic Park because he wanted to show people something that was real, something that would amaze them. Unfortunately, he got so caught up, so enamored in the fantasy that he failed to see reality. He got so caught up in bringing dinosaurs back that he, along with other Jurassic Park scientists, failed to ask themselves the question, okay, we have the ability to bring dinosaurs back, but should we bring dinosaurs back? And even though John Hammond claims that no expenses were spared, spared no expenses exactly way he phrases it, if you actually look at the park, you can tell that there are some safety problems going on here. And so, in reality, John Hammond did not do as much to ensure the safety of his guest as he should have. But still, you feel like... He's not a bad person. He's someone who had good intentions, but unfortunately he was naive to the dangers. It really shows that old saying, the road to hell is paved with the best of intentions. Another example of this is Miles Dyson from Terminator 2. Even though he's the man that, ult that we learn will be responsible for Judgment Day, for billions of people dying, when you meet Miles Dyson, you don't get the feeling that his motivations are nefarious. You feel like he's a good man who was not aware of what his actions would lead to. We see in Terminator 2 that when Sarah Connor becomes like a Terminator herself, hunting, di hunting down Miles Dyson, she's screaming at him, You did it! You're responsible! What's his response? Oh, what are you talking about? What did I do? And then when it's all explained to him, Miles Dyson is 100% in on the mission to stop Skynet from initiating J Judgment Day. And then another example would be Will Rodman from, Pri from Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Now, this is honestly a bit of a different case to be clear, because it wouldn't be fair to say that Will Rodman was the cause of the simian flu. No, that's not really how this plays out. But because he is the human scientist who did, who had a big part in creating AZ, AZ-112 at first, then, well, yeah, AZ-112 is what he played a big part in creating. Because of that, he ends up being indirectly responsible for the simian flu. What's tragic here is you get the sense that the reason why Will created this in the first place was not out of any kind of malicious intent, but because he wanted to help humanity. He wanted to figure out a way to beat Alzheimer's. And then what you see in the movie, him doing something that isn't legal, he steals some samples of this to give to his dad, but on a moral level, we can understand why he did what he did. He wanted to save his dad, tragically, that doesn't end up happening. There's an accident that occurs in a company lab where one of the humans is exposed to this, to a AZ-113, I think at that point it was, and then he passes it on to someone else who then shows an extreme amount of carelessness and thus is in many ways responsible for so many deaths. Will Rodman, as we learn later, as we learn, ends up dying actually, which is pretty tragic. He is not around anymore by the time of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. It's sad because you look back at the first movie and unlike his boss, who is just the greedy, selfish, cold-hearted corporate executive that doesn't care about people, doesn't have integrity, he only cares about profit, 
unlike him, you can tell Will Rodman has integrity. He actually cares about people. And he actually raises Caesar well. Unfortunately, he didn't reveal the truth to Caesar, which ended up not being a very smart decision. Had he told the truth earlier, things probably could have played out better. But ultimately, he did genuinely care for Caesar. And you feel like at the end of the day, his motivations were not nefarious. It makes it all the more tragic that the simian flu ends up happening. He ends up dying.